Hello everyone, this is Marco and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review this Extreme Damage Owen and Velociraptor Blue Pursuit Pack by Mattel. I've actually been looking forward to this one for, well, since it was first announced really, because we have a really nice sculpt for Blue with a really cool action feature, but unfortunately these are not sold in England where I'm from, so that's a bit of a bummer. So I messaged my good old friend Viet and he managed to score one for me as well as something else which I am going to review on the channel later on. So massive thanks go to him, I could not have done this without you mate and let's have a look at it closer. Now looking at the box it is the exact same sort of packaging as all the other Jurassic World Dominion stuff. As you can see down there, there is an Allosaurus, the Extreme Damage Allosaurus. That one's actually sold on a UK website and I've got it and I'm going to review it for you guys not too far in the future, so that's super exciting. Anyway, having a look at the human figures first, we have Owen, of course, which uh, is pretty much released all the time, isn't it? <laughs> but um, this one's slightly different actually because he's got a red shirt instead of the usual blue shirt. Which is, uh, you know, I, I guess it's different. Cool thing about uh, the human figures though is that Mattel really does nail them every time. They look super, super good. And I think, uh, I think the human figures I've always kind of wanted for my dinosaurs. So thanks Mattel for making these. I won't be reviewing him closely because, you know, we've already seen him before, but we're going to have a closer look at Rain Delacour. This apparently is a baddie from the new film. Obviously, I don't know too much about him because, you know, I haven't seen the film yet. <laughs> it's not out yet by the time this video's out. Uh, but as you can see, there's tons of detail. He's wearing a really cool coat, and there is also a tattoo on his face, which is pretty awesome. It's got the same sort of articulation as all the other human figures, but that coat is rubberized, so it won't interfere too much with uh, posing this guy, but also it will get in the way if you want to put him in a vehicle or something. As you can see, you can sit down on this coat like this. Now, this is the exciting part for me because I've been always in the search of, you know, finding the perfect blue. And I think this is the number one candidate. It's a very nice, solid, sturdy figure. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it's got all the paint apps and it's got a really cool sculpt and a cool action feature so the sculpt is probably the best sculpt that Mattel has ever done for a raptor because of the proportions although the feet are still quite big oh also as you can see that foot is even longer than the other one they must have just stretched it out a bit so it could stand even better what I'm talking about here is proportions and yeah again as the feet are a tiny bit big as always, but the tail is actually a really nice length and the overall pose of this dinosaur is much more realistic, a lot less forced than other versions of uh, Blue. As you can recall, the Savage Strike Raptor is a bit more crouching and that was one of the best ones that they released, but uh, anyway. Talking about articulation, it's got uh, head articulation, which is a new thing that Mattel's been adding to their uh, Raptors. Well, kind of. They've added them on the new uh, Ferocious Packs. Uh, it's got the arms that swivel out and in and backwards and forwards. And leg articulation at the hip. But unfortunately, this figure doesn't have the uh, swiveling feature or where the legs kind of uh, split apart. I'm not sure why, uh, probably because of the action feature and the scan code being there. But I honestly prefer it like this, to be honest, because it stands better. It's got less trouble of falling over. And it just feels more sturdy. 
Now let's have a look at the action feature. It is an extreme damage action feature. And if you press the button here, you can see the wound becomes red. And if you press it again, it just goes back to the gray color of the skin. Once the uh, red is hidden, it actually looks more like a scar than anything else. And then you press a button and it looks like a wound. And I think that's really cool. Really good idea, actually, I think. Hey. Now let's compare it to other Velociraptor blue figures. Uh, one of the best ones that Mattel released ever was the Battle Damage Blue. As you can see, the proportions on this Battle Damage Blue are pretty darn good. It's got all the paint apps that you would expect from a good Velociraptor Blue figure. But there was something weird about this one, and that was the legs. The legs do swivel in and out, and backwards and forwards but they're limited, they're very limited actually, like they don't move backwards and forwards very much. When they're not locked into place, they just sort of wiggle and they're really loose, um, which has always been a bit of a problem. In fact, the first version, the first one that I ever bought, actually broke on me. When I took it out of the packaging, one of the legs came off. Having a look at the action feature, if you press down here, a little door swivels and it reveals the wound. And I never really sort of really enjoyed this because of that little uh, like knobbly bit. It looks a bit like a wart kind of thing. <laughs> so I think the new extreme damage feature is much better. Now let's compare it to the Ferocious Pack Velociraptor Blue. This version I actually modified because the tail on the original one was much shorter. If you want to see how I did it, there is a video where I give a pedicure to my dinosaurs and I talk about this raptor there as well. As you can see, with a longer tail, the proportions are a bit better, but, um, I'm still looking for the perfect raptor without having to modify it, so let's compare it to something else. This is the Savage Strike Velociraptor, the one with the uh, action feature where you press the button on the back and the arms move. This is a really, really nice Velociraptor Blue, it's got all the paint apps again. But there's always been something bothering me about this figure and it's the color of the mouth is a bit too like too pink like like a neon pink kind of compared to the new one the new one is much better What's nice about this is the the paint nap of the underbelly goes all the way under the tail too which is lovely now looking at the articulation, this one has these swiveling legs in and out. But I was never really a big fan of the crouching legs. And also this, this part of the tail is quite thick if you look at it. But anyway, that's just nitpicking. It was a really good release. But man, this new one is <laughs> it's so nice. I mean, look at that. It's standing up a bit better. Doesn't look as crouched. Now let's compare it to the Raptor Squad pack from Camp Cretaceous. This was, uh, I think this is the best ever sort of standard Velociraptor Blue that Mattel released. It's got the attack pack sculpt, so no articulation in the head, but everything else is spot on. And that's really nice. It's even got toe claws, paint apps, and that's it. It doesn't have any action features. This is like the cheaper version of this. Let's 
compare it to the first ever Velociraptor Blue released. And this was the first attack pack version of it. And yeah, wow, look at the difference. Yeah, the, I mean, look at the paint apps on this first one. It's only got a blue stripe that ends at the base of the tail. It doesn't have a white sort of color surrounding the blue stripe. No belly color, and that's pretty much it. I think this Velociraptor Blue is possibly the best one ever released by Mattel. And I'm super grateful, I'm so happy I've actually got this in my collection. This is my sort of, <laughs> my blue of my collection from now on. The set in general is pretty cool. We've got some really cool human figures and I highly recommend it, go get it. Now it's time to scan it into the app. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I would like to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreons. Seriously guys, your support really does mean the world to me, as it helps me do what I love for you. You help me buy materials, and most of all, you give me a helping hand with improving the quality of the content of my videos. Even if it's just a small donation, every little helps.